Hi everyone, I'm DIY Danny, and if you're like me, then you have a lot of plants. So let's break up our day and DIY this modern plant stand. It's the perfect place to hold all that greenery. Here are all the materials you'll need for this project. To start this bench, measure, mark, and cut your 1x10 board into two 2 foot pieces. Use a chop saw or keep it simple and just use a simple hand saw. The preference is completely up to you. If you use a hand saw, I like to use a scrap board to create a guide for my saw blade just to ensure I cut a straight line. This is a 1 inch hole saw. A hole saw is used to cut a perfect circle in a variety of materials. The idea is to drill a hole on each corner of my board so that my dowel can sit flush to my stand. I've created a jig that's going to help guide my hole saw so that I cut a straight hole each time. I've created a small mark on the jig to ensure that I line it up to every corner. And then I'm using a triangle to help guide me. And once you're done, you're left with a little donut. I'm hungry for donuts. <laughs> then just repeat this step for the remaining seven corners. Prep both your boards by giving it a nice sand using a 120 grit sandpaper. This will remove any of the rough edges that you created in your cutting process. Remove any debris from your work area using a vacuum and then I'm taking a tack cloth and I'm removing any of the leftover debris on my project. A tack cloth is really great for picking up any leftover dust that was left on your board. To give my plant stand a little personality, I'm adding a sun bleached wood stain to the surface of the two boards. Always make sure to stir thoroughly to ensure all your color is mixed properly. Apply a nice even coat of stain on all surfaces of the board. I'm using a sponge brush, but feel free to use a brush. Now all we need to do is let that dry. Moving on to the legs. This next step may vary depending on your space and how high you want your plant stand to stand. I'm measuring two feet onto my dowel. Using a miter box and a saw, I'm cutting on that marked line. And then I'm simply repeating this step for the next three legs. Using a 120 grit sandpaper, give the dowel tops a nice sand to smooth out any rough edges. Adding a scrap board, I'm using clamps to secure my dowel to the edge of my work table. And I'm using this as my guide to draw a line down the middle of the dowel. This is just ensuring me that both my marks are going to be exactly aligned with one another. I'm measuring down my dowel leg at 4 and 16 inches. Using a 1 8 drill bit, carefully drill a hole through your dowel at the indicated 4 and 16 inch marks. Using a satin finish, I'm applying a top coat to my two boards to help protect the wood from scratches and stains. Then set those aside and let them dry. I'm taking some wood glue and adding it into the concave area on the corner of my board. I'm pre-drilling into my bench top with my drill bit using the dowel leg as my guide. Pre-drill holes are just ensuring that you don't end up splitting your wood. Now that both wood pieces are pre-drilled, I'm securing them in place using a two inch wood screw. Repeat this step for the remaining corners of your bench. To conceal my screws, I'm using a natural colored wood fill. Once the wood fill is dry, just sand it away. And voila! With the use of minimal tools, I created this beautiful DIY plant stand for my home. This was so easy, I know all of you could do it. 
Let this stand be a place for your household plants or start an indoor herb garden. Regardless of what you do, have fun and make it your own. All of the supplies for this project are available for delivery on homedepot.ca. Thanks so much for watching. Happy DIY.